round, one player B and A, and the rest going for mid control. And it looks like everything's about to come to a head down here in Vince, where Team Liquid were waiting for that drop play. We've seen it from Gambit before, and clearly. Now, Redgar has got a lot of positioning. For somehow, they don't actually know that he's here, but he doesn't manage to connect the shots. Luckily, Chronicle is alongside him to find an extra kill, but this still puts them in an awkward spot. They need to get rid of Soulcast to even have a chance. 30 seconds left. There's the blast pack out to try and do some damage. He knows there's players coming on both sides, and nothing he could really do about it. Redgar left on that 6 HP, eventually dealt with, but the trade is quick for Chronicle. That's another, and almost in for all four. I would have well, this is a important round for Gambit. Financially, they have a huge advantage, but it's this Blade Storm that worries me a little bit. The one thing the screen could just pull out. Ridiculous. That's a lot of space that they can take for free. Nice little watch by Yampy. The pistol that was in play manages to get a reward. Five versus three at this stage. You know, Gambit have those rifles that we talk about, and they pretty much have to go B, right? Their spikes sat outside of it, and the rotate would take too long. As they drop onto the site, Solkus catches them. One away from getting another nade online, and a challenge from Shados. He's going to have two players actually facing into him, but they manage to overrun the site with Scream and Solkus down. Cryptix is the only man left to defend as Link rotates to help. And nicely done by I, I would say that it's a little bit unlikely. Are they actually going to check the corner? They're not. They actually just expect him to have fully retreated. And oh, if he gets that kill, he actually does dash out of there. But Redgar is quick enough on the trade. And honestly, for Gambit, that's okay. Considering the weapons in yeah. it? Yeah, that's great. When Team Liquid decide to take a disadvantageous duel versus weaker weaponry, and especially then obviously facing into the three. Now on range, though, it's not quite the case yet. Redgar still able to get the spray in onto Solkus. This is getting a little bit scary for Team Liquid after such a good bonus round in the previous. They really need to be walking away with this pressure on Link. His teammate's nowhere nearby, and he is cleaning up house. Nat's the last alive on 45 HP. The solo man going in for the plant, but he's being rushed down on Heard the Steps. Oh, he's being played on the clock, but he isolated Cryptix. He's free to plant. He knows it, and Yampi, although he's closing in the distance slowly, won't catch Nats until it's a little too late. He's already made it around and now knows where Yampi is. This is going to be a game of chicken. Which side do the players decide to go on? Yampi trying to catch an oh! angle, and there it is, but Nats gets away with it. All thumbs on Jet. Uh, we mentioned Scream as a non offing Jet, but an A-Holt. And they're running right into Yampi, thinking that it's clear, I guess, or that they'd at least get towards the site before taking... It's worthwhile to have that man advantage on the retake, and here's hoping over on the liquid side that Gambit decided to get a bit too aggressive. You can already see that Chronicle has gone deep into screens, and I think he popped his he ultimate there, right? And now he's just taken down right away. And I presume that was even through it. Good job by Depo. I don't know how he gets to leaving Nats in a winnable position. The 3K in the previous round. Now they call on him once again. Time on their side. And in fact, it's the same players of Cryptics and Yampi to try and clutch this one out. They're moving towards the site. The steps are heard. Nats starting to creep behind them. It looks like they're blissfully unaware of his position. And Nats has spotted them. This could be huge. Only a pistol on Yampi to defend the defuse. Oh. And he's inside the cage for another clutch. Back you know, they really set up the oh, scenario you. for that clutch to come through. That could have been so huge. Look, it's the worst of the smoke, but I can't spam it because, well, the cosmic divide up. I'm surprised they even used the camera there. I suppose they want to see it, make sure it's not a fake. They're in a cage through. I don't know how much that's really going to help them. There's actually nobody watching the other side of it, though. Scream's able to go through. We've also got the ult, the showstopper finding another pick. This is just pistols in this round, and somehow this is already becoming very costly indeed. Scream has just taken down Nats as well. It leaves just two remaining. Nats not here to save the day this time, but a good play by Shados buys them a chance. One opportunity, there's a pull online. It's going to be a stun instead, actually, as Redgar spots he's not on it. Halfway defused, just about. And Scream has the blades out. The shot not connecting down to the share of time so low. He has to hit the shot now, and it is too late. Redgar closes this one out of Gambit. Push up to... Again, going to go for that bank control. This time, a little bit more intention behind it on the... Gambit side moving towards the A site. Ramp is now theirs, and this leaves Link by himself, spotted by the Seekers as well. 
The Cease revealed down below. He opts to hold his position as teammates. <gasps> Rotating to help, but they get isolated first, and now as they come through the smoke, only the one Cryptics, luckily, I think spraying the smoke himself, yeah, manages to trade, on. but Defo's up close to punish, and poor old Yampi, operator in hand, and Spike you really planted. could consider a save, but it looks like he's not going to go for that, instead, retrieving his fallen comrade's Vandal. As he moves towards this site, and with the damage done here, Tom, 69 HP on Defo, 85 for Redgar, this is a much more winnable clutch than it looks like. A shame he doesn't have paranoia still on. Oh, he's seen the barrel. <gasps> he spotted the barrel. Oh, the next kill's free. If he gets snapped back, he knows exactly where he is, but he's not quite going to get it. Literally tried to utilize him a little bit more to set things up. Redgar's going to go walking in, almost trying to maybe sell a bit of a bait by the looks of things with the rest of the team now. Round gameplay, they have managed to get themselves back up on the horse. Well, in fact, he might not have an option to take any fights. <laughs> up goes the Cosmic Divide, and they're rushing straight in. Pulled back, though. Bungie jumping into sight is the Jet of Defo. And the trades are in. Scream coming down behind them on the ramp. Yampi still on sight, now able to get right out of there with the Shrouded Step just about surviving. Gambit taking heavy casualties on the way in, but they do end up with a plant. Yeah, this is where they've been most dangerous. These afterplant positions is where Liquid have struggled getting back into the site. That nade is so strong, though, it's going to clear the back, and it's left all onto Shados. It would need to be the craziest clutch so far, and although he's managed the first, the other two players looking to come around the corner, can't quite connect, running out of bullets in the clip as well. He needs some instant headshots here, and Scream will not allow it. A big round from him, a fifth on the board for Liquid, and now even money again. Yampi. Oh, Defo's already in, but they're ready. Link is primed and waiting to take that kill. And as he goes back towards the site, Cryptix is just using his util, his trap wire, and his cage to completely ruin their day. I think even a, a camera tag going in. Good night and sweet dreams to Chronicle. He's being rushed down, and despite the first going his way, I mean, he is against the entirety of Team Liquid. Not an easy fight to win. A six a deep flash. Oh, they're committing to this fully, and Solkus knows it. The read at the right <laughs> time, and, and sure, he's not going to kill anyone with it, but it's doing its job. It stopped the push completely. He's going to just fire it down mid, and if that actually went down, it would have killed him. It would have gotten Nats in the corner, so he is incredibly unlucky that he clipped the edge of the wall. But it's bought time for Screen to rotate in and take a nasty double. Gambit of 10 seconds to get to the site, and it's all onto Chronicle. He can't even get to the spike on time. The half's already over, and Team Liquid have claimed a 7-5. to five. The question is... And Chronicle pad the stats, and no, he can't. Snake by down is going to slow them a little bit. Chronicle even Spike able to down. pick up one who's taking double damage, but Chronicle gets rushed on right afterwards. This is a little bit scary now for Gambit, losing out their Viper and a lot of their mid control. They quickly rally, but Yampi somehow is watching that smoke as they come on through the flank, though. Nats early up behind, and well, look at this. He's able to take the double of Defo sprays away. That's just gorgeous. It pays off. They end up with deep... B control after the flash, realize that no one's there, start to rotate around to the A site, where now there's a four-man stack, a but fake. it looks like Liquid are, exactly, they're faking it out, they're looking to go towards this B site, where Nats currently resides, he's able to isolate one, his cage, providing perfect cover, as he repositions towards the site, but Solkus will catch him, buying enough time though, as his teammates are now just outside of B, but the wall stops them completely. Uh, that, that wall was so important. It, it might seem like nothing because it took them literal seconds to break it, but they were about to pop flash out and deny the plant if that wall didn't go up. Now, we're going to see the concuss of at least one of the players, but Chronicle is going to get caught out. Bear in mind, this is a bonus round still, so any damage is going to be valuable, but Soulcast, he might get more value himself. He's looking to get a showstopper maybe in this round alone. Already up to four kills and Defo left with, well, and here it comes, but oh, the pull is there oh. and the kill, although Solkis gets it from the grave, Screen is down as well, sprayed through the smoke, Nuts able for a double, leaving Yampi all alone, a one versus four, and it's not likely to work out, he has to hit some incredible shots, he's going to be getting away with this one, and already you've seen a player sneak into the back corner, Yampi seems ready for this, and no one else is there to really support Nuts. 
They are looking entry into sight, but again, the Astro Utility comes in to slow them down. The wall already used, but it's also very close to breaking. Depo holding this with an operator doesn't have his dash to play with, so he'll just be backing out immediately after the first, and Nats gets caught. This is where they might consider a fuller investment, and Link has taken Shados. This is ridiculous. Team Liquid now having control of the site. And indeed, that Blade Storm's still online. We're waiting to see if it gets popped up. Oh, Yambi! Really not having a good time coming up on the flank. As he gets taken down, the numbers equalize, and a big play is needed by uh, presumably Cryptics or Scream with those rifles. Ready, the utility is going to start falling yeah. in to try and clear out some of these angles, try and deny some of the peaks and give them some space back into the site. It's the peak from Scream, though. You wanted a big play. Will both players get kills almost instantly? And Scream will close out. Nothing inside of heaven. As they start to move forward, there's a trap wire spotted, but it's Defo catching Link. That oh, no, no fake is going to be sold this time around. Still plenty of presence towards this A site. As Liquid look to push in, they have to contend with Nats on the backside, and that's always going to be a problem. But well, how is he even up that high? Scream jumping from the top rope, managing to damage him up, and Cryptics finishing off. Here we go. An even 4v4 retake. Gambit were a bit more difficult for them. The close splashes will find one, but actually it's the kill from Yumpy. Already shutting out Red Gun. I believe he was the man without a gun. The remaining players may just look to save, or they may look to hold Liquid into the site. Make this a costly one at least as Liquid start to increase their lead that little bit more. But actually, Edgar with the buggy. So these players on site pretty much can't die. He can help hold Heaven, but he's not going to be able to retake. Slowed down at least by the cages, but this is a fast push. And that's is he going to be ready for? He will. Snaps back in time. He basically needs to be a hero for them once again, but this is what this man seems to do best. Already finding two kills on the site. His third comes up as well. They just can't deal with this site. Well, four kills. He was alone for the majority. And Shados is there to close it. Well, this guy's the getting... other thing as well is, if he hadn't won all of these clutches, we would be with the desk right now. We would, yeah. Very <laughs> true. Like, we're going the game 100%. <laughs> There's no doubt, but he's given that lifeline. As oh, said, that round Defo. was so crucial. Defo has been having a bit of a rough time, and it's not looking like it's going to get any better. And this time, they have isolated the players on this A site. Nat's still standing, but he will fall. And now it's on to Shados. One versus four. I'm not going to hold my breath on this one, Mitch, because ask it if you're proud. You sound annoyed. <laughs> you sound kind of annoyed, so I'm proud. <laughs> Like a defo popping those blades right away. Not gonna be able to spam this, but that cloud burst about to disappear and from his angle? Scream stands oh. up. He can see him. <gasps> oh, they Game are just so close. Yampi's dropped towards A. That was a big fake, big posturing. And here's Defo's chance that Scream shuts him down right away. The dash in negates that gravity well. The rest of the team slowed up, but just for a second, as the easy control over the side and plant comes into play team liquid man advantage extends even further with scream but chronicle bulldog in i mean a bulldog judge retake it it doesn't really get much worse than this yeah i'll be a bit upset if they win i won't lie i like there's a part of me that wants to see this team succeed but there isn't a part of me that wants to see them completely fail with this purchase because it shouldn't work and your chronicles upgraded so that's at least something the judge oh! He's gone over the top! He's jumped, he's basically going for stop scream. Unfortunately, that doesn't do anything. I mean, to pop this it flash. Let's see if Team Liquid can punish it. There is the flash, the peak, and at least one kill. Nats quickly able to trade. This is perfect on a round like this, but as Nats falls, the B site is now wide open for the taking. In fact, Defo can actually make that rotation, so. Only now will he have known absolutely anything, but oh, they just try and run past him. Now he can try and just buy a little bit of time. A second kill will be huge, and he's actually oh. going to get it. That's a spike down. In fact, you oh. spoke of nuclear. Well, I think revving up his positioning, his ability to get out of there. Those are the sort of plays that Gambit have been waiting for all the way through. And now at crunch time, 12 to 11. Well, it, it's pressure. Under pressure. Can we see Gambit take this one to OT? Their map choice. Look to try and bring this one back into their favor and put the pressure onto Liquid. Because although, sure, Liquid are one of those teams that... Uh, well, actually, both of them are already teams. Oh. The showstopper used to up in heaven. It's a jet that he's chasing after. Not going to be an easy kill by any means. The updraft, oh. he keeps alive, but Defo can't get the shot off in time. Operator for Solkus. 
5v3. This is the round that Gambit needed to try and fight back in overtime and of three versus five retake pushing into the b side so many angles being held soulcast already getting one that's shados though oh. they've managed to find two back now the paint show is going to do a little bit of extra damage Nats will just about survive and now it's all on to shados oh a close fight for chronicle he's going inside the smoke to duel the power of the right click winning over the frenzy this Gambit look to get back into this site with a man advantage. They will concede spike the spike plan two spotted inside of Lamp's Depo wanting to pursue. Can't really afford to, and especially with that Molly down. Now it's time to back off and look for another way in. They have plenty of time to get this done. I'm really just buying time for that flank to come in. It's got Nats on the way up behind as Shados falls. Oh no, the whole team is crumbling. And the flank's even been spotted. A disaster of a round with Nats going down. It is one to zero. Team Liquid getting away with a four. We see him play Sage. And well, here comes that pincer play. But it has been spotted. However, Mitch, it's still working quite well. We saw that uh, many, many moons ago. Wait, I remember them doing this in, in buy rounds versus Fnatic the first time they were trying to qualify. This is, yeah, they, they've done this yeah. a lot to try and but do They did it in the last game we saw on Bind. And they did it in the same fashion. I'm pretty sure they lost the pistol on defense and they did this exact crunch play. Maybe a little bit to read into there, but Liquid didn't. It doesn't seem to matter though. They still managed to mop up the rest of the forces, but Tom, you survived. Yeah, which, you know, that is something you can normally bank on. Redgar gonna be in a fairly good position, but it's Guardian to play with, and they're gonna get nice and close, and that's where that gun falls apart. In fact, the whole round does. Three entries coming in. They had a spot has spawned this obsession with the bookie but we'll see if they find any sort of reward with it or they play they're playing one on long and one in hookah and the hookah player has just pushed all the way up i presume the viper wall is up right now good <laughs> shot by chronicle the, I, i'm not sure it exists maybe it does probably somewhere in the world but well, for now at least it's not going too well this round actually being spotted out on mid, that fake in towards Hookah isn't going to sell oh! anything at all. Good shot by Shados, the spray no. continued, and he catches Link afterwards. Ten seconds to get that spike planted. They have to deal with Shados now, and they do. There's an opportunity, but they decide against it, opting to save the weapons instead, and the They're first round the will buckies. be found for Gambit again. I mean, Tom, I mean, we start this out, and you say, hey. But it was initially defo. This is so risky from Nats punished very early on wanting to try and challenge for orb control and it has been bitten oh look at this this is a full a play orbital strike smokes off to cover the site they even blast pack in shados is up close but he's i'm pretty sure they heard him lost track of where he's gone amidst all these smokes as he comes out towards the back of it Sulcus is already gone. Uh, what was that? Uh, what? Straight through the smoke and the boxes. Yampi is gone. He's out of here. But more is needed. The flank play, good for one. Definitely needs so much more. Pull his team back into this one. The smoke down. It's such an easy spam for them. But the flank. Oh, no. Chronicle. He almost got behind them. Defo has to do it. And he does. A nice triple. Would have tanked oh, it, There's another where still. they peek it and he kills them. Oh, what a shot by Yampi. The dash on the side and an immediate kill. They have overrun it. Nats is gone and Yampi wants to continue this. He's just going to swing in for the right clicks and dash right out of there. He's got a little more. Damage done. Redgar left on 25 HP, but he's just about managed to stay alive. Oh, he sprayed away in the corner. I don't know how he's not dead yet. There we go. Eventually, the kill is found, and now... I mean, normally teams would consider a save, but this is Gambit. Oh, <laughs> my! This guy! He just, just, just doesn't see the walls! Killing everybody through them. They've got a real opportunity to take this. It's only Solkus in the corner. He's going to be spotted immediately, and Chronicle with another wall bang! What is this guy? Three to three! Gambit somehow get back into that site! Tom, I'm losing my mind! It's the same sort of spot. Like, Liquid are putting themselves in massive advantages. And then just... Defo, so they've still got two players here. And Nats tucked in the corner. It's a good opportunity. The first kill is found. But he's plenty more players to contend with. Redgar is here to help, though. And he's only hitting Eddie's. An easy win for Gambit. As they go up to four. Going for the entry frag as well. So, unless it was a pretty big bait. Shadows, though, is dead. 
He's had his head popped by Scream. The Marshal doing work. And they might get the clearance as well onto Nats. This has gone from a bit of a shaky position to a really dangerous one for Gambit. Now, these light buys for both teams are incredibly strong. Chronicle, got to be a little careful there. You can get spammed through the cage. So he starts to move around. Red Garo close, hasn't even got his weapon out, but Scream uncharacteristically misses the headshot. Blink in the corner, now detected. Chronicle takes him down, and Defo's in with more. Solkus is left alone, and he's locked out by a cosmic divide. He doesn't even know if they're defusing yet. It doesn't look like he thinks they are. Oh, that is a great shame. The defuse already blew. Oh. And Solkus, he might... Oh, this aggression down middle at the start of the round. The operator is a good angle, and so does Shados. Leave this position. He's going to hold it down tight with that judge in hand. He's low HP. Makes that fight more of an even one than you're used to seeing. He's going to go around oh. the corner and almost got the timing on the Solkus. But they still have so much to contend with, mainly in that Viper's pit, but the rotate's coming through as well. They're spraying away, hoping that the RNG is going to give it to them, and this time it won't. The last pack by. How is that still alive? He's in the corner and doing damage to Link. Viper's pit falling down, revealing the rest of Team Liquid for Gam. Definitely been one of the difference makers so far. <laughs> <laughs> Two through the smoke. He almost smoke. got Link. He, he almost got Link. Not, this is the buy round. This is the ring out with those blast packs. I think it's likely that rocket comes in. Ah, the star though. Yeah, this is the classic, but they've managed to basically avoid so much of it that they'll be able to reclaim some of that position. Wreck already going to find another, and actually the showstopper gets nothing done. It's left all on to scream and. Well, that was three. A weak buy for Team Liquid. We're seeing Spectres, ju a Judge. Whilst effective on the defensive, a little harder to use on the attack. But Solka still manages it. Ooh, a bit of a risky fight for Chronicle, but it pays off within the smoke. Keeps the advantage away. And we see them got that Cosmic Divide again, potentially used in combination as already. They're going to get a lot of info. Shados taking down Solkas. That upgrade not going to help him out too much. And Scream desperately low on HP. Now, the same can be said for Shados, but they're in a much better spot. Scream already being reduced to ashes, leaving just two players left. Link and Cryptics to try and hold on to this round. Cryptics stuck in a close angle. He's going to have the grab well, but actually Link and Cryptics combine. They should now know where both of these players are. One of them wiped out and Cryptic solo on HP, but he's clinging to life. 45 HP attempting the clutch. And I don't think he's going to be able to do oh, it. So Just close. about enough time, I think. Uh, yeah. See of the rest of the map. Pop flash. This is basically the judge of pistols, but it, it is only going to get him one kill. Yep. Really good start. I mean, look, he could have had a shorty in that corner, Tom. You never know. It doesn't have as if many all close bullets, enough, it doesn't work. Could be an ace. <laughs> One shot, five kills. You never know. But yeah. Solid start. Plant achieved for Gambit. They're able to play post plant. Moving in towards long. Oh, they've even got Chronicle, who actually gets spotted okay. scream. Didn't look like he was going to check it as he came out, focusing over towards Hookah. The last second he turns, still Cryptics falls. Good shot onto Sulcus. Stops the defuse, and the spray down is good. 1v1 Redgar repositioning, but now Scream knows. This guy has to be inside of Hookah. He's even managed to pick up the Sheriff, but he didn't think the peak would be in play. Look, bro. He's actually going to invest the Viper's pit. Now, that is a surprise, because this is a round, as said, that we don't really expect them to win. So I, I want to see how he's actually going to get something done with this. Got your train. Well, yeah, it's the fact that you've got two specters, though. Three specters, yeah. in fact. Obviously, the silencer's going to be great, the rate of fire. But then even the sheriff, you can find a lot of players one hit inside that ulti. But it's getting to the site that's going to be the problem. Shados manages to get that from afar. We talked about oh. this man when it comes to specters, and they are overrunning Liquid. This is a full buy for the defensive side. And somehow, Gambit are on site. Viper's pit erected Spike and plan found with a man advantage and full weaponry to play with. Team Liquid are going to have such a hard time. This judge could be a huge difference maker. In fact, the first kill goes his way easily. Another close range duel, and Link is absolutely farming them. They still need to. They still need to get rid of Nats. He's just playing on the edge. Now this does actually mean that the pit 
is going to fade completely. They're diffusing within the smoke, but actually Redgar's come around behind the clear from Link. This might just be his round, and they've already got it halfway. He has to peek out onto it. He'll find the headshot through the box. Three now on the horizon. It seems very unlikely that Link would make this comeback. They would need nine straight rounds in a row. And oh, one more. They could really say at this point. Icebox definitely isn't a bad map for them. See, why? 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 Just smoke. Just why? Why? Why go? I'm gonna give you a reason here. here. And 12 3. Yeah, really but it's the one spot. Like, I feel like at this stage, I know that you can't just give up a portion of the map versus Team Liquid. But, like, see, look. Look how, look how nice and comfortable. Easy. Just walk into, walk into A. Nats will get some kills. Oh, you're just, nasty. Just shutting it down. He's not, he's not even breaking a sweat. Look how relaxed he is. One enemy you just don't go hooker. Second you see. <laughs> but look, he, yeah, he's chilling. He looks like he's watching a presentation on how to play Valorant, not clutching it out. Cryptic's running out. Is, oh, no. Uh, well, he's jumping. <laughs> how that situation develops. Keep our fingers on the pulse of that. As the pistol's already seeing Team Liquid plant down on the B side. Gambit are quick to respond, taking mid control. Another player here. Great decision by Yampi. Cloud burst and dash out of there. He was about to be swarmed upon by the entirety of Gambit. He actually goes back. He's going to get an insanely well timed flank on them. I was waiting to see if someone turns around and checks it, but no. Blissfully unaware of Yampi coming up behind. This could be Team Liquid with the round in the bag. He hasn't given away the game just yet. They just defused it. They defused it. He got a kill afterwards as well. Oh. An after plant here would be pretty rough to deal with. The problem is they've still got to get rid of Nats. And he's actually using a lot of his utility to try and make things a little bit more awkward for them to try and go for a plant. And with only 16 seconds left, they're already looking to try and break this wall. In fact, it's going to be a different plant spot, but they're going to be able to deny it. They have to be really careful that they get someone back onto that plant and quickly. Nats, I don't know if he's going to have an angle on this. He tries to peek out, but this time they're ready. If it went down again, that round was over. It was done, and Ditfo staying alive would have been enough. Now, he wants to try and make this costly, and he gets nothing. Nats has managed to fall back. Again, he's got his one way, but this is a very aggressive push coming out from Yumpy. Just taking the control, but he's met with Defo's operator. I don't know if they expect did that to be in just yet very early bought up absolutely it doesn't give them the amount of advantage for long it's quickly stolen back by liquid sneaky little position by nats as link comes out healing himself completely unaware that nats had blown under the radar now link has the res but he's dead that's the problem right he's not going to be able to help out in this round so we look for scream we look for cryptics now to attempt the clutch, the 1v3, the plant attempted here. Wall bangs are good, and they even take him down in the end. <laughs> Gorgeous stuff. Three to one, we got not happening. And finally, they're going to be forced into a more direct hit. Power of the Rainer. The dismiss to get out of there. The jump up above from Scream. He's going to clear some of the closer range positions, knowing there's nobody still within the site can give them access. But there's been... Quite a bit of utility to try and deny them from going any further. The wall not going to last long. Actually, it doesn't get killed off and Scream goes down. It looked like he was dead for sure. And now they'd still need to clear these positions because they don't have a spot to plant him. That hasn't spread far enough either. So they're still going to be able to stay close. Ten seconds left. No oh, Link in a bit of trouble. I don't think he could get the res off there. Maybe because Cryptix was in the plant right on top. Like that, advantage is theirs, and Gamma just roll over them. He's easy. Even the majority on the defensive side, but it, it's a map where, realistically, I expect anyone playing it, except maybe Guild to do better on the attack, and that's just because Guild's defense on this map is really enjoyable. This time, though, Chronicle has finally Only one way to find out. Oh, scream with a nice little shot. Welcome to my Standing atop the corpse of his enemy. And in fact, considering it's a 5v3, I'm almost surprised that they go for the Viper's Pit this early on. I mean, they were guaranteed a safe plant, and who knows, maybe Scream gets two more. In the meantime, now they use the pit to actually oh, no! pull off a little bit of a retake, but Shados is all by himself. He has a res online. He's going to heal up. 1v2. And there's the res over in the corner. They haven't got an angle on it just yet. They oh. it, and Shados delivers. It's all onto Yampi. And up in his hand, and a 1v2 as he closes in, starting to move around the left side. He's going to pick up a weapon. They've heard it, and Shados gets all four. What an incredible round from him, and Gambit reward. Possibly, but I think it's the Anyways, right clip, right? The, rounds. the right clip, right? 
if only one knife connects. Top done. It's incredibly unfortunate. And they still won. Oh, Redgar, hello! He's right up behind uh, the fucking dismiss! <laughs> Scream was dead! He got shot at the last second! So he runs through, starts spraying, and he's like, wait, where, where is everybody? <laughs> where, where are they gone? And just gets absolutely destroyed from behind! Defo missing the shot, but Chronicle buys them a chance to get back into this. Defo on low HP, he's gonna be a bit hesitant. Make it into the site, certainly, to take the first combat. This is where Chronicle needs to go huge for them. A flank from Defo yeah. actually might buy... Oh my god, they're not looking at it at all! If he can if he can hasten it up a little bit, or if Chronicle can keep distracting, this could be the round... I don't need it! <laughs> he just kills them all! Oh. How many of these rounds where an individual steps up and just wins it out all by the... Oh. Still kind of annoys me. It's, it's, because you never know. But butterfly effect, right? Into the future round. We could be sat here saying, oh, if only like Shados had a res, or if only Defo had a blade storm, if only Chronicle had a head still. Things would be looking a lot better. Good trade back by Defo, and he keeps on going. The dash oh, already used no up chance. has to be careful and scream. Takes him out. A site overrun and a 4v3 retake. I mean, look, unless Shados gets like a 4k. This round should be Team Liquid. Well, yeah, they, they, the last two rounds, they've had huge advantages, and it's going the same way again. They've already lost the first man on the block. Now, I don't think the Hunter's Fury has cleared out Cryptics at all. It hasn't. It served its purpose in stopping the plant and letting Shados get a kill. But Cryptics is going to go for the plant now anyways. Shock Dart in. It's actually going for around the other side of the site, so it doesn't deal a whole bunch. It doesn't deal any damage, in fact. They have a wall of their own. I'm just noticing that for Shados here. If they can actually find a kill on site, this wall might dig them so much room, but he's gone. That is a massive kill for Cryptics. The follow up, not quite there. This round is still under threat as I see Scream starting to make his way forward. Nice little position tucked up, waiting for Nats to push. And a rare whiff from Scream. The snake bites going down cost them a lot of time. Solkus needs to be dealt with here and now, and that he is. They can still get in there afterwards as well, even on low HP. The orb wasn't on top of the spike, and that is... Is there... Is, oh, no! He didn't get it! From that oh, position, so... Good improvement on the... This high is ratty. This Shadows. is ratty. Oh, oh, he's only gonna get one! Oh. There was a chance for so dies. much more. You will not Chronicle's gone on sight. Rez comes in. Team Liquid, they've got everything to play with here. Five versus three. I'll say it again. Surely they don't lose this one. As the first kill comes in for the Gambit retake. I would be very disappointed if they did. No, he's used that. Whether or not Liquid can shut him down. Oh, Defo isn't blinded up. They thought for sure he would be Link. Swinging into the angle, not expecting the Operator to still be here. A missed shot from Defo, and Scream capitalizes over on the site. Here comes the Viper's Pit, meaning that Defo's Operator is discounted massively in terms of the impact it can have. Redgar has some great timing here. I have this he has snuck up right behind them. They checked it, but they left. didn't see him. They should never expect him to be here. The problem is most of the teams inside that Viper Ultimate, he's not really going to find the opportunity to take them down as they planned. But maybe the opportunity to eliminate Screen! There it is! He's caught him. The recon about to bounce off. Maybe... Oh, it didn't quite make it across the line. Cryptix is safe on the edge. Waiting for him to push on through, <laughs> thinking the angle's clear, but Nats still checks it. And from the rope, yeah. delivers a headshot. Bit ridiculous. Solkus? Yeah, there was there was no way he won that. I mean, if you just... There was a freeze frame there where there were four players on a screen, yeah. all in different angles. And all glowing in red. That Doesn't hit the shot. Okay, that is a lifeline for Team Liquid. They should be a man down already. As they move towards the site, Scream, the man who would have died, is able to pick up the opening. Chronicle barely making it away with his life. Thanks to the dismiss, but Scream is in hot pursuit. Eventually falling back. And they've lost Shados. And, and that's incredibly important, Tom, because that's the res out of the round for Gambit. Yeah, we also see the yeah, Empress invested for Scream. We've seen him win so many rounds, and a single kill will bring him straight back up to healthy again. The flank watch, though, by the pistol player, and that's the opener. That's the kill they needed to start really putting doubt in the minds of the remaining players for Liquid because they now have to split their gaze. They need to take some control. And already Chronicle is going to pick up another. Now he has the Empress as well. The face in from Redgar is going to close out another. It's all on to Link. He's doing a decent job of it. But the round will go the way of Gan. 
And as you said, the attack for Gambit isn't exactly where we expect them to pick up all of the rounds. This pistol would be a great way for them to kick it off and maybe secure the entire game. And that spot Ooh. in Berlin, the fight on site is awkward. Leaving Cryptics on 4 HP. His bow is spotted. And look at that plant right up above. Dodging the shock darts as they come in. I don't know how Cryptix is alive. He just got shot at, but he's for health. And then Defo even ends up dying. This is looking very good for Liquid as they try to come back in. All they have to do is deal with Redgar up above, who hasn't been spotted. He's dropping on them with the right oh, clicks. No. But then out comes the bow. He tries to recon them and in fact ends up dying. But a little bit Let's ambitious on that range, Nats. It's diffused already. Enemy remaining. There's no way for him to stop it. A shame. <laughs> What the hell is this for? <laughs> Why are they pausing before pistols? We already had a plan in our pistol round. Why do we have to wait for them to come up with theirs? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dearie me. Soulcast is in trouble. Now, those boxes are pretty strong, but once they get just that little bit closer, I don't think he's going to survive much longer. <laughs> he ran just all the way. He walked through the snake bite just to kill him off. Mm -hmm. Link, this position could be everything, though. Actually wins the duel. Peeks back in onto the blind and defo, and he gets two for his money. That is a huge couple of kills that gives him a chance in this round. Massive work being done. Red Guard just about opens up the A site, though. And now Team Liquid start to flock towards that side of the map. Luckily, Nats doesn't make any noise. If he threw down the he snake the fight, they'd know he was still here. But now he has a little bit of a sneaky flank oh, here in Cryptix. And a <laughs> critical steals it away. It. So that's, Mad that's unfortunate. Games before. I mean, I know, as much finished. as a hero is. believe it. The hero he's always described to be. We forget this is a very young player. And... You know, those kind of things can... They come with experience. Oh, the barrel was spotted by Cryptix. He's ready for Nats to re-aggress on that. The kill. <laughs> and he's gambled correctly. Now getting a flank play on the Nats. Solkus holding strong on yellow. And everything's working out for Team Liquid here. The two-man advantage in play. Solkus getting the info. Hearing the players up close. They need to be careful not to let this one slip. But it looks like they've got a handle on it. Maybe not. Chronicle. Really pushing their buttons, pulling it into a one versus two as he closes the distance. He's not even scared about the peak coming in. And now that he's on site, surely it's not expected. A 1v1 all of a sudden. Yampi on 60 HP with the operator, having to clutch this out. And the spike is now planted. He has no idea where Chronicle has gone. This is going to be a game of cat and mouse. And Chronicle oh, actually got wow. the timing. It's another round for Gambit. And a devastating long round from Chronicle. And wow. Now really is trouble. Nice work from Solkas, though. How's he get two? He peeks into a drone as well. Like, he knew the drone was there, and he said, eh, hey, screw it. He knew he was going to be revealed. That is such quick thinking on his feet. Now the advantage sits to Liquid. They're diving down. Oh, Link no. dying. Cryptic's tagged up 20 HP. He's in a little bit of trouble. Spraying through the Viper's pit on 20 HP. Are you okay, Cryptix? It's he's up to two. Screen playing up close. He's got one kill and he's out of there, healing all the way back up now. Still with that sheriff, though. He wasn't able to recover a weapon. Yampi behind enemy lines, catching Redgar off, and that's much of the same play. But a one versus two. Scream has one health. Yampi on a hundred. This has to be around the Team Liquid win. The spike is down, but it's not in the open. It's it. Oh, that's a that is a very risky play going up top, and in fact, he might just have been spotted. There's the shot, but no connection. He's gotten it, but okay, this is nice. So you're stopping anybody coming above. He can cover both angles by himself, but in fact, playing completely out of it. He's not going to get back in. Oh time. no! That is so big oh, brain by Gambit. Oh, oh. <gasps> still trying to get aggressive into mid. He's oh. been caught though. It's Chronicle, but the time is still ticking. Oh, but do they clear Scream? That's the question. Not quite originally, and he manages to dismiss out of there, trying to waste as much time as humanly possible, but Nats comes in from behind. It's left on to the remaining two to try and clutch this out. There they are. Interesting snake fight. Not quite landing, so they're able to run out. <gasps> oh, my God, Link. What was that? Oh, it's on. <laughs> He said another! Oh my and god! Oh, Link is just getting them all doming! And Shados is the last alive! He returns the favor, but it's already halfway diffused! He's on his way forward by the times! Absolutely incredible! And, and it's not just the play, it's the timing of- Where did he go? Where did yeah, we're he gonna, go? We're gonna- we're gonna pretend we didn't see that and keep singing Link's praises before he loses that knighthood. A uh, little bit of a whiff. Solkus is reloading! They've pushed off. If they if they win the previous round like that, and now 
Lose versus a weak bot. No, no, I mean, surely not. No, no, no. The numbers no. are in their favor. There is a res. They've got everything yeah. on lockdown. It's, well, it's there is. Where, 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 where can he res? Exactly. He would have to now push all the way back around. And there's a flank from screen. This liquid of them boxed in. Everything going their way. 50 seconds on the clock. No possibility to plant. No Viper left. So there's no wall to play with. Shados doesn't even have one himself. So there is no way to plant where they would like to. And instead... Uh oh oh Oh, I guess he's trying oh, to bait no. them out into peeking. So Shados could kill them. Right, I really thought they'd plan for mid there, Tom. I was, like, leaning that 100% in my head. Instead, they've baited them into a fight, uh -oh. won it, and now have a two versus two post plan. Both players coming from towards the site. Scream's flank ends up being completely pointless. Did they spot Shade? Oh, he headshot him on the swing around. Luckily, they deal with him. Scream on the way. Little do they know. Or little did they know the site is Whoa, under what? what? One and he gets remaining. a third. Okay, and go on. Down, get a please. little bit more. Why not, Sulkus? I mean, Gambit needed a hero and instead seemed like quite as keen to leave that uh, Viper's Pit as he was before. I wonder why. That's not the start they were looking for. They've actually taken a turn. And Shados is actually going to find Link this time. Welcome to my Boxer Screen Down. Well, another Viper's Pit is oh, going to be pulled up into play. Climbing. That was the spike rotating. It's actually killed off Cryptic. She was trying to lurk in behind them. Yumpy is going to try and do the same thing. Oh, oh, oh. it's awkward as hell. It's so confusing for Nats, I'm sure. And that's going to be the Viper's Pit going down. That's all the cover they had for the pit. Drop down was heard a second ago as Scream starts to creep in behind. If Defo falls, this round is almost certainly Team Liquid's. Redgar has 20 health to make this clutch happen. He delivers the first headshot and now tries to reposition up the oh! top the rope, and the shots will not land. Solkus finding the 12th round for Team Liquid. Now, facing off against Gambit's attack once more, and Scream is not looking to let up. He is pushing all the way down through the tube and looking to catch them out on middle. Nats has landed a big double kill scream. Those, I, I'm not, they spotted him, I think they did, but he manages a kill quickly enough to get out. Chronicle, who's been sat in his way in towards middle to get this res and he will secure it. Nats on the lurk. The rest of the players get the A side and now come in for the plant. The operator of Yampi is the one that gets res. This would be a huge difference oh, no. maker for them and a good shot by Link. He's already on the side, and now the pressure is there. So Nats has to make this flank happen, and he has to make it work. The first kill goes his way. Team Liquid needs oh! to move to site. Nats with four. He's saving this round alone. Link has to clutch it out once again, and it will not happen. It's only through the rinse and repeat from Liquid. It was only really an A-site simulator, and this time Scream has kicked it off with a bang. They need someone to step up on Gambit, but it isn't happening. Cryptics has picked off another. The aggressive plays from Shados was one of the saving graces in their defensive side. He was so good at finding them ways back into these rounds, and the after plants from Liquid were not great. Well, let's hope they're a little better this time. A 5v3, and it turns into four players left alive as Nats is quick yeah. to find one. He's two away from Ulti, and that could be very impactful, but a long way to go before that's a thing. Recon. <gasps> And reveal he's Link pinged. up close. They know that he's here, oh! and he still gets away with two. Team Liquid on the verge of victory. Shados has to get another 4K clutch. Valir as he goes. Yes, he does. He's got it in hand. There we go. Yampi pushed off the angle for now. This is going to buy a little bit of space because he's worried about a player coming out the left side. Normally, the head is seen. The shot not connected rotates. Should commence, but they need someone to hold on to B, Tom, and they've just been overrun. A double entry is coming in. Nats and Chronicle doing the work, and now it's Liquid's turn to attempt the retake. Not something that we really saw too often from them. They had much more of a shutout half. Nats in the corner. He's low on HP. Anything he gets here is valuable, but Scream takes him down with no trouble. Soulcats has already found another one. We head into the three versus three. Such a good position from Defo, though. He'll shut down Scream before he can get anything more done. It's left. Onto the Brits, and well, only one of them standing now. Cryptics in the one versus two to try and take this home for Liquid. Head them off to Berlin, but he's got so much left to find. And actually, he's baited in Redgar, but the jump, he'll be able to escape at least for the moment. The time ticking so far gone, and Shados knows that all he has to do is land the final shot. Defensive buy round that we've seen so far. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Lightning Fox from Defo. 
Ultimate's going to already get them the opening pick in such a close position from Chronicle. He doesn't necessarily need to play this aggressive. He's going to get spotted out by the drone. Oh, he actually drops off and he's going to be caught by Scream, who's just going to try and play off of this. The counter, though, is Shadows, who swings up to the second kill. The trades just go in their favor. It's only Cryptics remaining again, and this time he could do... To counter the fact that previously you saw him pushed off by oh, one piece of utility. Oh, my is that God. Drop shot? This could be the moment where Team Liquid fall. They need a hero, and it's not Yampy this time around. Nats being tagged up a little, but it is but a scratch. The shot onto Chronicle. Small amount of hope for Team Liquid to buy their way back into this site, fighting for survival. They're worried about the flank, but it's cleared now. All they have to do is focus on the site itself. Defo connects one from above, and a sneaky position by Nats still hiding behind that plant spot. They no. Clear this out. In fact, they're gonna spam oh! it. He's left down on one Angel. HP, and Cryptics oh, eliminates him. Two versus two. Shados up close to the wall. The last man alive, and Solkas deals with him. It's Redger. Excuse me, but actually being further back, a shock dart in his face. It's, it's, it's oh not gonna God. land. And spotted on A for a long, long time. So they should now have a pretty decent idea of where this is going. Oh, down. oh, Link doesn't get it planted. Great play by Nats with a double kill. But he is returned on 10 seconds. They're coming up on as they go for yet another plant. The wall being broken. But not in time. And Defo connecting from afar. The two versus two. An operator in the hands of Defo still. But no one's going to be peeking those ranged angles. Scream just checking as they come up close. He turns away. Perhaps at the wrong moment. Now that player posted up. He'll use the Leer to cover it. And lose a lot of his HP in the process. Down to zero. Cryptics alive and a shock dart takes the kill. Hiding at the back. Yellow running down the clock. The time is on his side. Defo with a Phantom now to play with. And he wins it. The wall bank. And we don't even need to say it anymore. If anybody's shut. Still they manage to come back fighting. The mental fortitude looking strong. And it starts exactly the same way. Sure, it's not a drop shot, but it is still the death of Scream. His aggression just not working out. The exact same play tried twice, and while Gambit aren't falling for that, again, they're going to find another opener. Straight in onto the B side. What? How does Link get that kill? Straight through the wall, hits the headshot onto Shados, and he'll be out of this one. A lifeline for Team Liquid. The pressure is definitely on. The updraft from Defo almost cost him his life here. The operator bought up by Yampi. Cryptics taken down on an attempt to buy his way back into the site. He leaves his teammates stranded and alone. No flank to come through. Yampi's up. Not ideal for this situation. Gambit might just have it under their belt at long last. A few of these players low, but we've seen clutches again and again. This time, that side swipes and leaves.